we can just apply the probe to the site. We're looking at the cell nuclei in my bottom lip right now. So you can see they're all pretty small and evenly spaced. So that indi indicates normal healthy tissue. The clinician can see this in real time and then assess whether or not they think it's normal or abnormal without having to take a biopsy. This device is called the High Resolution Microendoscope, or HRME for short. It consists of a fiber optic bundle that's attached to a microscope system that's all enclosed in this box right here. Without having to take any tissue out from the patient itself, you can see what the cellular morphology is without having to do anything else. You basically just have to place the probe onto the tissue. A clinician can make their diagnosis right at the bedside. screen patients, we're able to see what normal tissue looks like very quickly. And what this allows us to do is identify which patients and which areas of the esophagus are normal, are benign, and do not require biopsy. Because otherwise, we would have to sample um, a large number of uh, patients and a large area of tissue, um, increasing costs, increasing risk, um, and now with this technology we're able to see this, the, the tissue in the cells in real time and choose to not take a biopsy, which I think is just as important as diagnosing cancer. We can build this device for less than $3,500, that's significantly less even than the cost of just a standard endoscope. And in the study, if the endoscopist would have treated the patients on the basis of what they saw with our high-resolution microendoscope, it would have eliminated 60% of the biopsies that were, in fact, unnecessary because of the high false positive rate of endoscopy. And in fact, almost half of the patients could have been completely spared a biopsy at all. So we are really excited about the potential of this to improve our ability to identify esophageal cancer at a much earlier stage, when it's treatable, when it's curable, and to do this in a way that is in fact affordable in the places that it's most needed.